Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So we're going to start with the head, and the head is basically a big oval, but I'm going to just draw the sides and the bottom, not the top, because I want to make room for the antlers. So starting on the left up here, we're going to draw an oval coming down towards the bottom. Stop around halfway. Now we're going to go up to the right and just draw the right side. And this is going to help me sort of balance out the curve, making sure that they're balanced from left to right. Kind of like that. Okay, from here, let's draw in the antlers. So I'm going to draw in a little curve, like so, just to make room for the antler to sit inside the head. And then I'm going to connect these two sides with a curve that goes across. And from here, I'm going to draw in the antlers. So starting on the left side, I'm going to curve up, and then I'm going to round up the top. Now from here, I'm just going to come back in, and then here, I'm just going to make a little bump, and then just bring that right into that side of that hole. Okay, let's go on to the right side and draw the same thing. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So starting on the inside, going up to the top, I'm going to round up the top and come back. From here, we'll do that little bump, and then we'll bring that right into that corner right there. From here, let's draw in some ears. So from right where the antler meets the head, I'm going to draw a curve that goes to the tip of the ear on one side, and then I'm going to bring this curve all the way back into the head. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting up here, go up to the tip, and we'll bring this all the way back in to the side of the head. And now we're going to draw the inside part of the ear. So all I want to do is step in a little bit and just trace the inside of that ear, like so. Do the same on the right. There we go. Now from here we're going to draw some of the details in the face. So let's start with the eyes. So on either side I'm going to draw these big round eyes. So we're going to draw a circle. So starting on the left, starting at the top, move around to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. Let's go over to the right side and draw the same thing. So make sure that the eyes are roughly the same size. Now from here I'm going to draw the highlights. So on the top left here, I'm just going to draw a small circle. And then just diagonally on the bottom corner, I'm going to draw a tiny little one. And we're going to go inside and color all this in black. Let's go over to the right side and draw the same thing. So we're going to draw the big circle on the top left side. And then diagonally down here we're going to draw a smaller one. And then we'll go ahead and color the inside area in black. So now we got both the eyes, let's get into the mouth and nose area. So here, just in between the eyes, right in the middle, I'm going to draw a nose. So we're going to draw a small circle, and then we're going to draw a little highlight on the top left, like we did with the eyes. Draw a little circle like that. Now from here, we're going to draw the edge of the mouth. So starting about halfway down the nose, we curve around down to the chin, on the left and on the right. So curving around. From here, we're going to draw the mouth, so up here. On the left, we're just going to curve down to the bottom, back up to the top on the right, and then right in the middle here, we're just going to draw a straight line coming down. Let's get into the body. So I'm going to give Rudolph a little bell with a collar. So down here below the chin, I'm going to draw a circle. A circle around the same size as the nose, and then in the bottom portion of it, I'm just going to draw a plus sign. Like that. From here, we're going to draw the curves for the collar. So up here, I'll curve up on one side, and tuck that in underneath the head and on the right side as well. Now let's get down to the arms. So up here, just below the collar and the head, we curve the side of the front legs on both sides like so. From here we're going to go in the opposite direction. So from here I'm going to curve out on both sides. Now let's draw the bottom of the hoof. So here on the left I'm going to curve up. On the right we'll curve up. Now from here I'm going to come in towards that same height as the the elbow area. So here I'm just going to curve in, up here I'm going to curve in, and then from here we're going to connect these two points 
with a curve that goes up to the top and then back down again. Let's draw in the belly. So right about here, I'm gonna draw a curve that goes up. Let's separate the, the hoof. So we're gonna draw a curve along the bottom of each foot. Now let's draw the back leg. So up here, right around halfway down the shoulder, I'm gonna draw a curve that goes out and then pull this right into that leg. Over here, we're gonna go out. I'll pull that right into the leg. And again, we're gonna do a separation on both sides. Let's draw in the little tail. So we're gonna draw a little bushy tail on one side. So we draw a curl that goes out. We'll pull this in, but not all the way. We're gonna go out, and then we'll pull this right back in. So it kind of looks like it's got some fur around it. Along the feet, I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlight. So on this side here, I'm gonna draw a line coming down move over a little bit and draw another line. This is for like a highlight. We're gonna color the outer area in black. Let's do the same thing for all the feet. So over here, we're gonna do it on the left side with a little white stripe. Color in the other areas in black. And then for the back feet, we'll do it on the outside. So here, I'm gonna draw it on the outside. Color this in black. I'm gonna do it on this side here. So, coloring that in black. And one last thing I probably wanna do before we finish off is drawing a little curve from the side of the head, going up over the eye, and then down into the nose area. We'll do the same thing on the right. So coming up, curving down to the side of the nose area, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas.